Hello and welcome to another one of Nautel's presentations on custom applications for broadcast use. Today's presentation will be on the VS1 transmitter, one kilowatt transmitter, and a five plus one application. The system controller for this N plus one system is Nautel's SC1 controller. This controller determines the status of the RF switches for the plus one transmitters. It controls the program input switching and the power level and frequency of the plus one transmitter so that it matches up whichever transmitter has failed. I'm now going to simulate the switching function of the N plus one system. The SC1 controller is monitoring the output power of each of the on-air transmitters. In this particular instance, this transmitter number C is operating at 900 watts because that's what the um, program for that transmitter is set at. The rest are running at one kilowatt. We have programmed the N plus one transmitter to know this so that when that transmitter fails, it will switch to its frequency and power level. So now to simulate a failure, I'm going to remove the AC power to this transmitter. Okay? So the power is now removed from this transmitter. We have a transmitter alarm showing. And we now show that we've transferred to the N plus one transmitter. This transmitter is obviously off the air. I'm now going to demonstrate priority setting of the transmitters. For this particular application, I've set up this transmitter as priority one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cause a failure first in this transmitter, the same as I did before by turning the power down. So I'm going to turn the power down below the threshold, which is set at 500 watts. And as I do this, As I do this, we see the bar graph for that transmitter show the power drop. We have a transfer. And now the N plus one transmitter has assumed the, the power level for this, for this particular unit. So now I'm going to put a failure on the priority transmitter, again, by turning the power down. So now this has gone below the threshold. We have now transferred to put the N plus one transmitter into the frequency and power level of the prioritized transmitter. We're now looking at the display screen for the SC1 controller. We can see the mode of operation is auto, which means once it detects a failure, it will automatically transfer the N plus one into the proper power level and frequency for the failed transmitter. The state is normal, which means the transfer function is set up as we defined it, which is each of the transmitters operating into the antenna. And we see that we're monitoring the power level, level of each of the transmitters. I'm now going to demonstrate the failure of a transmitter while we can see what happens on the SC1 display. So if I set the C transmitter to a low power, which is a fail state, we can see the power level drop. It detects the failure, does a transfer. And transfers the C transmitter to the antenna system. I'm now going to demonstrate what happens if the priority one transmitter fails. I'll Set it to a low state, we see the power level drop down below the, the threshold. So the SC1 is detecting it, transferring the program equipment and the RF switches. And now we see that transfer A shows up on the SC1 and the sequence is now complete. I'm now going to demonstrate setting the the N plus one system back in its normal state, which would be all the normal program transmitters operating. So here we see that we have a failed transmitter. Status will tell us which one has failed. And we see that A transmitter is being replaced with the N plus one. So if I go to the transfer menu, 
um, select normal, edit it, save. We now go back to the normal position and operate as we should. I'm now going to show you how to set up which transmitter is priority one, two, three, and four. If you go to the menu, select backup presets, we see the current setting for which transmitters are in a particular priority. We can see that the A transmitter is currently priority one. If we wish to make the B transmitter priority one, we simply hit edit, come down to the priority selection, edit, make that priority one, and save it. And we come back and we can see now the B transmitter's priority one. It's as simple as that. The arrow switch matrix is customized depending on the client's needs. In this particular instance where we're using one kilowatt transmitters, the connector is a 7 8 EIA. The switch is under the control of the SC1 controller and interfaced via this wiring and this connector.